Do you think you're going to get an invitation to the wedding? If there is a wedding? Oh, no, I don't. I, I mean, who knows? But no, I mean, I think that if they, I don't even know. I don't think she'll, who knows? Well, the reported. Are they reporting things? I have no idea. I didn't read anything. Well, I don't know if there's definitely going to be a wedding. But what but, about the fact, we don't know if this is true, that apparently Skinny Girl sold for $120 million. Do you secretly have moments of, you know, your children, they're around the same age as Brynn, you have some sons. Maybe one of them could. <laughs> In the future, <laughs> Bennett Bethany- Bennett is little. Bennett is, Brynn is 10 and Bennett is almost one. So that, eh, never know. <laughs> well, one day Brynn will be 40 and Bennett will be- 30. 30. Right. That works. <laughs> I'm just putting this out there for you, Julie. I'm just trying to, you know, plan. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Um, what is the biggest thing you've learned business-wise? And then I want to get into your businesses quickly before we go. But like, what have you learned from like Bethany business-wise? And like, do you invoke it every day? Like, do you hear her in the back of your head? Um, I think that she just instilled a sense of this, uh, of hard work and keeping your eye on the prize and like going, going with your gut. I do that a lot. And I find myself, that's the one time that I like hear her, not the one time, but that's like a constant is that she always went, there's that gut feeling that you have about something. And I've done that with clients where I'm like, I'm just taking this to do this. And then I'm like, why did I do this? I should have listened and not done this. You know, I've so always like, run businesses the same way. Like I had a different business I sold way back. Like I just, I'm not, I'm similar to that mentality. I don't really plan like, a, you know, I'm organized, but like, I don't really write it out. And th I just, you go with your gut, man. Yeah. And when you're deciding and making decisions. So yeah, I think that that is, the, you know, the one thing that is really, really stayed in my head from her. And then just the value of things, the value of your time. I was always like a big thing. And like her time was very valuable and the way that we organized it and spent her time and what she did. And so I've taken that with me also is that as a business owner, as a mom, as a wife, as a daughter, my time is valuable or I need to be spending it in the best ways that I can. I mean, I don't always do that, but you know what I mean? 